first time ever, I'm not going to have trick-or-treaters come to my door. In fact, I'm going to block it off and I'm going to make it look all spooky like do not enter. Because we are going to be in our driveway with friends around a fire pit and I made a walkthrough porch that I'm going to have the kids walk through. Let's make sure I don't fall. And um, it's going to be spooky and scary. And then when you come outside over here, this is where the guillotine is going to be in the graveyard and then they'll walk back through. Um, don't want to give away too much. But because of that, I need to block my front door. Last time I posted about my house, it went in the newspaper and then people were walking through my house and I thought that was really weird. So as you walk up, this is my front door and I need to block it. So I'm gonna use these um, flat pieces of wood here. Just really cheap, I think it cost me like a buck for these. And I made sure that we're tall enough for my door as you can see there and I got two and I'm going to take foam and I'm going to put fake um, boards across and I'm going to paint it look like old wood maybe put do not enter and then in front here I found and I got lucky this table that's not a real snake uh, so I have stuff on it and I'm going to put that table here in front of my door where the pumpkins are all going to be displayed and then maybe another level of pumpkins and then with the do not enter door. So then people have to go through the walkthrough or they could come here and say, nope, not gonna do it. So I got this phone here and I got it for um, free, if you know me. Um, dumpster diving, haha, <laughs> not really. Um, I asked for some foam and people gave me foam. So either you can measure the width of your door and get wood. You can even get little pieces of wood if you want or if you want to use styrofoam. But because my styrofoam isn't the size of my door, it almost is. It's pretty dang close. I'm going to build this the size of the styrofoam. That way it saves me money and doesn't cost me a thing. All right, there we go. Made a little bit of a mess, but um, nothing that the uh, Santa Ana winds can't blow away. Not good for the environment though, I know. All right, so next thing I'm gonna do is get a heat gun and kind of just make it look a little less like styrofoam. So what I'm gonna do is take my nifty heat gun and I'm going to melt the edges. I kind of already did it on there. And so what it does is it keeps it from um, pretty much falling apart, but it also makes it get some cool texture to it. And that's gonna help it maybe look a little bit more like wood. Like I said, I am going to do this the fastest, the bestest, and the cheapest <laughs> I can. So let's get this started. Okay, now that I got these all nice and kind of melted on the edges, I'm gonna go ahead and use Gorilla Glue and screws to start putting it on the board. To be sure that it is um, gonna stay the same different oops, distance, um, I used one piece of foam down at the bottom and measured it right out to the edge and I did the same thing on the top. So that's gonna be kind of like my template and now I'm just gonna fill these in sideways, overlapping, stuff like that all the way down. Now that it's all glued there, if you want, you can um, drill some screws on the side. Um, I tried here and my screws were too short and they went right through. Um, I actually might just not do that and see if the glue holds, because um, the styrofoam will just fall right apart. Um, and if you know Gorilla Glue, it's messy, so be careful. And um, we'll just wait it out and see what happens. 
So what I did here is I just used a little bit of acrylic paint and just tested on it. You could see, you could tell it's foam. But I think with a couple layers and from far away and in the dark and properly lit, it'll be fine. So that's what it looks like for now. I'm gonna test out some more paints and see what I like best. So I was about to give up on this thing. I was getting pissed off. I actually screwed on um, another, look at that, that's horrible, right? pieces of wood you could see another one back there to keep it together but um it was not staying together and the glue wasn't sticking and I was getting pissed off and I was ready to give up so anyways I did I did I gave up I said screw it and I went inside and did my things but then this morning I went to go check on it and um the glue the glue stick so Gorilla Glue is just something you need to be patient with if you use it Glue that. Anyways, um, I'm trying to pick it up. There it is for now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the whole backside black. And then um, the front side I'll uh, definitely do brown with some wood grain. Okay, I gotta add one more thing. My son comes out here and he goes, Mom, why didn't you use wood? And I'll tell you why. I should have used wood because it would have looked real and it would have maybe been easier, but I would have to buy the wood or I'd have to take a pallet and then I'd have to rip the pallet apart. Have you ever ripped a pallet be apart? It is so hard to get those boards off a pallet. Anyways, then it would be heavy and I'd have to use a saw and I'm not good with saws. So the foam was free and this is what it looks like and it's light and I can move it around easily. Um, coffee break. So anyways, and the other thing is um, I was experimenting because I can easily pull off um, these pieces and then if I want to put it on my window, I can and um, not actually board up my window. I just put like a tiny little nail on the side of my window and then just push those over it and it would look like I boarded up my windows, but I didn't. So I might reuse it and then it looks like I have wood. So that's why I didn't use real wood, sweetie. Mm -hmm. So here it is and I'm going to start painting it with black paint. So I'm not sure if spray paint is going to work or not. Check out how old this is. Like easy way. That was $1.79. That is insane. That's cool. Chestnut brown. So these are old spray paints that I had in the garage. Some used, some half used. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and try it. This says it's red. That looks brown to me. We'll, we'll figure it out. So I'm gonna do the back side of this black and then I'll flip it over and do the front side brown. So I'm gonna try with black first. So usually you don't use, uh, at least people say, don't use spray paint on foam because it won't really stay. But um, you can see like the white right there and stuff. The reason why I painted the backside black is because when you go, oh shit, that is shit. I just almost stepped in it. Is that over here, it's kind of hard with the shade of the tree. The backside will look black and then I'll go over with brown just to give it a little bit of more depth and so I cover up the white. Anyways, I'll let this dry and I'll flip it over and I'll do the brown. Here it 
Here's a fine example of what happens with spray paint and foam. It totally eats away and melts away at the um, star foam. So maybe not the best thing to do. And then the wind blew and it broke. So this project of mine, I'm getting really pissed off at and maybe I should have listened to my son and used real wood. So if you all decide to use cheap foam, I wouldn't because even once you pick it up, it's so cheap. It just falls apart like this. It just breaks easy. And um, it's my chicken. It's a pain in the ass. Sorry. And it keeps breaking. I would use the uh, more thicker foam that you can buy at uh, Lowe's. And that might work better. But since I have it half built, I'm just going to go with it and finish it. And flow with it. But either use real wood pallets, broken wood, things that are free, or at least thicker foam that won't fall apart and support the back. Um, sorry, my shadow's here. See, this yep, fell apart and the whole thing fell apart. So that is my two cents right there. I think it's a great idea. I just think you need to use the right materials and not be as cheap as I am. Legit, this tutorial should be called What Not To Do. Don't use cheap foam. Don't spray it with spray paint. Don't build it on a windy day. Don't buy cheap material. Wait for your Gorilla Glue to dry. I mean, what else could go wrong? It's just ridiculous. So I'm getting ready to paint it with acrylics. You can use a paint brush or you can use latex paint. Whatever you do, do not use spray paint. It didn't work. And don't use cheap foam because look, it breaks. It just breaks. The wind blew it over again. Um, kind of getting over this project, but hey, you learn from my mistakes. So I'm going to get painting on it right now. So I think this tutorial is going to turn into how to make burnt, charred looking fake pieces of wood because that's what it looks like behind me. Uh, didn't turn out at all what I wanted. I'm going to finish painting it with the acrylics and then um, set it up tonight just so you guys could see what it looks like, but I am not happy with it. Yes, yeah, so what I created here was a mistake, but it almost looks like burned charred pieces of wood or maybe ba bacon. I don't know. So I mixed up some acrylic light brown tan and I'm just kind of like spraying over that, making it fill in all the white if I can. And I am just going to give up and rock it the way it looks. And in the dark, hopefully it will look good. So here's what it looks like during the day. As you can see, you can see some of the foam. It's still showing, but I tried to fill it in with some um, tan acrylic. But that's the, um, the end result right there. Don't think it looks too bad. What do you think? for giving up and cussing a lot and hating the project, it ended up being okay. Like I said, it's Halloween. Everything ugly ends up looking okay. So I'll do another video um, tonight with it dark and uh, see what it looks like then. So I'm scared if I wait too long, it's gonna be too dark to show you what it looks like. So, um, what I'm showing you right now, before it gets too dark. Um, I have the lights on on the inside of the house. But uh, that's pretty much it right there. And when I get more of my lights plugged in and my accent lights, and it's going to look a lot better, I think. I definitely don't have all my lights out. Halloween's not for another few weeks. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to move all this because... I need to use my front door. So anyways, I think this was a fail, but it still looks pretty dang good. So um, tell me what you think. Tell me what you would do better. Um, I'll probably post some really cool pictures on my Instagram. I'm Crafty Christy, K-R-I-S-T-Y and K-R-A-F-T-Y.